my top 10 on Division One women's tennis goes as follows. And yes, it's not going to change until the 18th. There needs to be some matches until then, which is going to happen eventually. I would say my number one would be North Carolina. NC State, two. Duke, three. Oklahoma, four. Texas, number five. I have a little questions about Texas, especially their one and two spots. How good they're going to be. And not only that, I have heard that Pat Shkaleva has not played uh, the transfer from Pepperdine since the NCAA tournament of last year where she hurt herself. So, and not only that, a few other, like, one other player hasn't played all fall. So, that's just a precaution. And it's a lot more turnover within the last two years compared to last, I mean, last year. I mean, it's the truth when you look at the roster. Georgia 6, Texas A&M 7, Virginia 8, Pepper 9-9, nine, nine, Stanford 10. Outside teams looking in are like Cal, Oklahoma State, Miami, Florida, USC, Auburn. So, that's just naming some teams. And this is the coaches poll. Texas is number one with seven first place votes. North Carolina number two with five first place votes. NC State three, Oklahoma four, Texas A&M five, Duke six, Virginia seven, Georgia eight, Stanford is also tied with eight. Come on, there has to be a clear distinction who's number seven, who's number eight. I mean, who's number eight, who's number nine here. Pepperdine 10. And if that transfer for Pepperdine recently, if she's clear, that's a tough seven players for Pepperdine right there, lineup-wise. I mean... Miami, Florida, 11. Cal, 12. Oklahoma State, 13. USC, 14. Auburn, 15. UCLA, 16. Ohio State, 17. Florida, 18. Arizona State, 19. Tied at 20 is Michigan and Vanderbilt. I think there should be a distinction between 20 and 21. Iowa State, number 22. UCF, 23. Tennessee, 24. Georgia Tech 25. Other teams receiving votes are like Baylor, Kansas, San Diego, Texas Tech, USCB, and Wake Forest in terms of alphabetical order. I do think Iowa State might be getting a little too much love here. Yes, I know they're adding a player. And they're bringing back everyone else. But here's the deal. Their schedule in the past has been... Not so great. I want them to prove it to me that they really are top 25. I mean, that's the truth. So, anyways, I don't have a lot more bugaboo. I don't have any other bugaboos about this poll. I don't. And some of them do make sense. I do think Texas should drop, given the question marks for the team. And unlike the men's side, Virginia brings back more than the Texas women do for the national championship teams, respectively. Not to compare men's tennis to women's tennis, but when you look at the lineup, it's practically most of them are gone for Texas. And remember, Marley Zane for Texas, that's transferred from Florida, was 500 at Florida last year at the number two spot. And the SEC is not as strong as the Big 12. So, and as you could tell, there is no top 16 team from the Big Ten right now. So, anyways, if you like this content, hit like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys later. It's on the road to 500 subscribers now. Let's go.